clearly there's a lot that can be done with NDI, you know, beyond just bringing in camera and audio feeds wirelessly, you've got a whole bunch of production and collaboration, you know, workflows that you can accomplish using these kind of NDI tools. Um, and I know, you know, I'm, I'm not the most tech, Nickel of, of folks, I'll, I'll be the first to admit, right? But uh, what I do know is that there are, you know, a couple different uh, spices of NDI. There's NDI and there's NDI HX, right? So um, I think another good kind of level set might be to break down what the differences are between NDI and NDI HX, why you would use one over the other, and what the limitations might be between one version of the protocol and the other. So when it comes to NDI, NDI uh, is a f- uh, NDI HX is essentially a compressed NDI feed. And so um, depend depending on your network and your computer CPU and your GPU is really that's what will depend that's what will uh, determine how many NDI feeds you can bring in or which ones are best for you. So for example, if you have a full NDI feed, which is just called NDI, that might take 125 megabits per second of network bandwidth or bitrate uh, for you to bring that in. Uh, however, once it's in your computer, it's already decoded, so there, there's not a lot of decoding that's necessary on your computer. It will shift it over to the from the CPU to the GPU, so it's going to be using both the, the CPU and GPU there. Um, but but you may be able to bring that in fine with your pipe. However, if your if your network pipe is not very beefy, then bringing in four full NDI feeds might uh, cause it to just fall down. Might might not make it. You know, depends on what your network feed is. However, if you were to bring those in as HX feeds, now that is going to require some decoding on your computer to be able to bring those in. It will bring those compressed files or uh, streams in, decode them and and bring them in. So that uh, will take a lot more CPU and GPU processing. And so depending on your computer, you know, those might be coming in at four megabits per second, but the processing power that it will require to get those decoded and into your broadcast might cause your computer to go a little haywire or, you know, fall down. So really uh, what you can expect is going to be dependent on your computer setup, your bandwidth, uh, your processor and your GPU. Um, And you really should just test it. I I recommend definitely testing it before any broadcast. Bring in as many feeds as you want to bring in during your broadcast during the test and see how it performs. 